Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, let's see K map and the simplification. So let us see two, three, four variable K maps and how to solve the Boolean expressions. So why K map is required and what are all the advantages? So K map is developed by the scientist Maurice Carnot and the name of the scientist is given for this method that is K map. This method is used by this scientist while solving the logic based telephone switching circuits in 1953 at Bell Labs. So in KMAP, we are going to write the visual method for simplifying the Boolean expressions without using any complex Boolean theorems. So this KMAP is simpler compared to the Boolean loss simplification of Boolean expressions. So in that method, there might be a chance of doing error. So KMAP is the very simplest form of reducing the complex Boolean expression into the simplest Boolean expression. So why this simplification is required means while implementing it in a hardware, the expression which is reduced with number of variables takes less number of logic gates compared to the complex logical expression. So let us get into the two variable K map. This two variable K map as we know the function of two variables like A comma B. So this A comma B function will be having 2 power 2 input combinations that is 4 combination of min terms we can get. A, B is the table you can see here. This will be having different combination of input values. So these 4 input combinations requires 4 cells in the K map. So in one side we are going to write one variable A. In other side we write the variable B. And A can take values as 0 and 1 b can be 0 1. So these cells are going to be named with the min terms such as m0, m1, m2, m3 means that corresponds to a bar b bar that is cell 0, a bar b is m1 that is cell 1, a b bar is the third cell with name 2 and 3 corresponds to a b. So this is how we can write a two variable k map. So for example, if we have f of a comma b is the function with min terms 1 comma 3. Summation 1 comma 3 represents min terms 1 and 3. So here we require 4 cells since it is a two variable expression. So a, b can be taken like this and correspondingly we have 0, 1, 2, 3 cells here. And in the given expression you see 1 and 3 are there. So in place of cell 1 and 3, we are supposed to write logic 1. And we need to take other cells which the number has not given in the example as 0. So here we need to group these cells which are having the logic 1. We need to group the cells in such a way that the adjacent cell if it is 1, we can group together like this. And we are not supposed to group 3 variables or 3 adjacent cells. We need to group only 2 power n cells. So here this one corresponds to a bar b and this one corresponds to a b. So if we take this into consideration a bar b plus a b is the expression we are going to get. Here b is common and a bar plus a we are going to get. a bar plus a is 1 again. So the final expression is b. So the given function f of a comma b is equal to summation 1 comma 3 is representing the logic B. But this is the complex method to solve this K map. So let us see the simplest form of this. Here you can see this group corresponds to 1 in B and 0 1 in AB. Here in A it is changing from 0 1. If it is changing from 0 1 the value is not constant so we can ignore that in the expression and we can take this as b. So the final expression for this particular example is b. Let us take one more example for better understanding. Here f of a comma b is equal to summation 0, 1, 3. So we need to write 1 in place of 0 cell, 1 in place of first cell, 1 in place of third cell, 0, 1, 3. And there is no second cell min term here. So I am writing it as 0. Now we need to start grouping this. How to group? We need to group two terms at a time or two cell values at a time 
we are not supposed to group three terms so i need to group this first this one one into one group and this one one into other group here this green cell gives the result b and similarly blue cell gives the result a bar but no need to go with this complex methodology easily we can write it as this green cell where b value is 1 and a value is 0 1 but here it is changing from 0 to 1 we can neglect that or we can ignore that so for this green cell we will be having an expression b now let us take the blue cell so this blue cell corresponds to 0 that is a and 0 1 in b 0 1 is the change happening with respect to b so we can neglect this and a is 0 here i am going to write it as a bar so the corresponding expression for these two cells combining we can write it as a bar plus b this is the final expression for the given function with min terms 0 1 3 now let us see the three variable k map in three variable k maps we will be having three variables like a b c and it takes eight combination of min terms so we require eight cells to represent those eight min terms in one side i am taking a and the other side combiningly i am taking it as bc for a we have 0 and 1 value and bc we have 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0 these are the different combinations of bc and these are the different combination we can get in a here you can clearly observe while writing these two variables 0 0 0 1 and then 1 1 then 1 0 why because while writing this in the k map we need to take the gray code into consideration the gray code of 0 0 is 0 0 0 1 is 0 1 in place of 1 0 we will get 1 1 as gray code and 1 1 we get 1 0 so we need to adopt the gray code methodology here that is only the reason here we are taking in this way so no need to worry about that just remember how to write these values and correspondingly the cell min term values are this is 0 1 this becomes 3 this is 2 this is 4 5 7 and 6 you can see here a 0 b 0 c 0 means it is 0 a 0 b 0 c 1 means it is 1 0 1 1 means it is 3 0 1 0 means 2 similarly 1 double 0 is 4 1 0 1 is 5 1 1 1 is 7 1 1 0 is 6 this is how we need to take the min term values within the cells in three variable k map similarly in the four variable k map we will be having four inputs and two power four input combinations so it gives 16 combination of min terms so we require 16 cells here here again we need to take two variables at a time that is a b in one side c b in other side here the different values of a b is taken like this 0 0 0 1 1 1 first and then 1 0 similarly for c d also we need to take in the same order now the corresponding cells becomes 0 1 3 2 4 5 7 6 this is 12 13 15 14 8 9 11 10 why because you can see here how this 15 comes here means 1 1 1 1 is 15 similarly this 5 is 0 1 0 1 so 0 1 0 1 is 5 you can see here 0 1 0 1 is m5 similarly 15 in the sense this is 1 1 1 1 so carefully we need to write these values suppose if they give the expression as summation 1 comma 3 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 like this we need to write in place of 1 we need to take logic 1 in place of third cell 3 we need to take 1 5 is 1 again 6 is 1 and then 7 is 1 and then we need to start grouping these to get the simplified expression so in the next video let us solve three variable and four variable k maps to simplify the boolean expression Thank you.